Okay, where am I, Amanda? Um, so it looks like you got your hands on a template. That's cool. So I'm not even a, really a big fan of using templates because it's really kind of depends on the class that, and the, the learning objectives of the class that you're using. Uh, or I'm sorry, the, the class that it came from. So sometimes, a, you know, a template and specifically for a style guide doesn't always fit what we're looking for. For example, what we're looking for in this basic style guide is a couple of things. We're looking for you to talk about the type usage in the three logos. We're talking about clear distance in the three logos, as well as color presentation and uh, do's and don'ts in the logos. So let me jump over to your style guide. Let's take a look. So Minotaur Publications style guide, it's actually, it's not Minotaur Publications, it's um, Minotaur Publishing LLC. So um, in a style guide, it's really, really important that you get the name of the company um, consistent throughout all applications therein. So again, uh, remember here, right here, Minotaur Publication. You don't even have to include the LLC. It's just Minotaur Publishing. Okay, so good mission statement. Excellent job there. Minotaur Publishing. I would label this page as, um, as a um, monogram. So label this as, as the monogram, okay? And then in the monogram, talk about in the monogram, you're allowed to do this, you're not allowed to do this, but show examples too. Now this monogram, I think, I, honestly, I think this M needs to get turned around. I know it's backwards. It's a modern typeface, uh, did, did own typeface. And those extreme serifs are, I'm sorry, those extreme uh, fluctuations in the stroke weight are kind of the signature, one of the signatures in this typeface. So therefore I would not recommend turning it around backwards because it creates uh, some really uncomfortable visual tension. Um, so I, I, I love the drop shadow, I think that's fantastic. But the M, I would turn that around and, and the rest of it looks great. But this, so you have that, then you have your, your word mark, but for over here, your word mark is presented in three different panels. So I'm not exactly sure what the reasoning is behind that. And then of course you have, well, actually this is your monogram. This is your actual logo. And then this is your, your word mark. So for each of the three, what you wanna do is you wanna show a couple of different things. Okay, so let me show you what I want you to do. For each of the three logos, label the page. Okay, Minotaur logo. Talk about the logo itself. Talk about the typeface that you've used in a logo, the colors you've used in a logo. Give us assured clear distance. And that typically is when you take a portion of the logo right here. And as you can see, this, this uh, designer took the lowercase a and placed it in the corners drawer bounding box around the outer perimeter of the logo itself. And then place a component of that logo in the corners, all four corners, connect those lines and that color right there is your clear distance. That means that nothing can get closer to the logo than that. So you want to show that for your logo, your word mark, and your monogram. Okay, additionally, you want to show, um, uh, oh, you want to show how the proper use of your logo on a color, on a white background and a dark background. And then you want to show, uh, um, printing and one color your logo is printed on one color on a light background one color on a color background and then logo don't so what you want to do is you kind of just want to give these a list of these things that you don't want to do with your logo so for example you don't want somebody putting a drop shadow on the logo indicate that uh if you don't want the color a, a you know gradient in the logo indicate that here's a no gradient in the logo no gradient in the background and uh you know and all sorts of other different and the examples that i left in the course materials show plenty of of uh, examples of um, acceptable logo usages as well as logo don'ts like we see here all right so those are my recommendations again in summary so you want to provide a summary for each of the three logos uh, the word mark, the monogram, and the uh, actual logo itself. And in those pages, give the um, uh, summary of the typeface used in the particular logo. Um, good, give clear, assured clear space, clear distance. Um, and then go, go ahead and give uh, what the color recommend, well, not the color recommendations, right now you're just black and white, but how to use the logo on a color background and how to use it on a white or light background as well.
All right, so those are my recommendations moving forward. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I'll be glad to clarify. Thank you very much.